Welcome back. In this short video I'm going to go through how to calculate a gyro or magnetic compass error using the sun. At sea you should be regularly checking the gyro and magnetic compass error. One of the many ways of doing this is by using a celestial object. In this example we're going to calculate the ship's gyro and magnetic compass error in a single calculation. I'm making some assumptions, mainly that you're taking the bearing of the celestial object using a gyro repeater. To calculate the gyro error first, and then comparing the gyro and magnetic compass to check the deviation on the magnetic compass. The reason for this is that it's the most common way of checking the compass error on merchant ships. Before we start our calculations, we need to take our bearing of the sun. We also need to note down the exact time we have done this, which will convert to universal time coordinated, or UTC, and the vessel's position at that time. We're also going to note down the vessel's heading, as shown on the ship's gyro and magnetic compasses. For our calculation, we're using the sun, and it's the 10th of April 2016. The time is 22.20 and 0 seconds UTC. The ship's heading was 132 degrees by gyro compass and 145 and a half degrees by magnetic compass. We're in a position 25 degrees, 50 decimal 6 north and 066 degrees. 08 decimal 6 west, and our observed bearing of the sun was 277 degrees. Throughout this example, I am going to use a pro forma I created years ago as a cadet, which you can download from my website, and I'll put the link in the description below. Now we have to pull out our nautical almanac and turn to the appropriate daily page. As we're doing our calculation for the 10th of April, we find its page in the almanac. On the right hand page we see the sun column which lists the Greenwich hour angle labelled GHA and the declination labelled DEC for each hour of the day referenced to universal time. Before we go any further we'll start filling in the details on our pro forma. The celestial body as we already said is the sun and it was the 10th of April 2016. The time is 22.20 and 0 seconds. The ship's gyro heading was 132 and the magnetic heading 145 and a half degrees. We can also put in the ship's position. Going back to the almanac, we can find the 2200 hour and note down the Greenwich hour angle, GHA, which in this case is 149 degrees, 43 decimal eight minutes. And the declination at this time is north, eight degrees, 21.9 minutes. We also note that the declination between 2200 and 2300 is increasing. If we look at the bottom of the sun column, we see there is a value for D. This is the D correction. We can note this down in our pro forma as 0 0.9. Now we turn to the yellow colored pages in the nautical almanac, which are titled increments and corrections. They're located near the back of the 2016 Admiralty Nautical Almanac, and these provide the corrections we need to make because our calculation is not being done exactly on the hour. First, we find the 20 minute page, and then from the table, we read off the correction for the sun at 0, 00 seconds. In this case, 5 degrees and 0 minutes. We enter this into the increment, labelled INC, box on our pro forma. We also look at the column labelled VD correction, find 0 0.9, and we can enter its value of 0 0.3 in the CD box on the right of the pro forma. Because the declination between 2200 and 2300 on the 10th of April is increasing, we have to add our D correction. We can do this now and we get a declination of north 8 degrees 22 decimal 2 minutes. As we're not calculating a star, planet or the moon, we can ignore the SHA and the CV boxes on the pro forma. We now add the increment to the GHA value and enter that in the second GHA box. This gives us 154 degrees 43.8 minutes. This is the actual value of the Greenwich hour angle for the sun if we were on the prime meridian at 22.20 and 0 seconds UTC. As we're not on the prime meridian, we have to correct for our current longitude. In this case, we add the longitude, which because it's west, we consider to be negative. So we do 154 degrees 43.8 plus minus 66 degrees 08.6 minutes. This gives us a local hour angle or LHA, of 88 degrees, 35 decimal 2 minutes. We can now use the LHA, declination and latitude, to calculate the azimuth, or the true bearing of the sun. 
There are different methods of doing this, such as the ABC method or using Norris tables. However, I find the formula included on the pro forma the easiest. You can simply enter the entire thing in one go into a scientific calculator. You'll notice that for this formula, if the latitude is north, we treat it as a positive value. And if it was south, we treat it as a negative value. We do the same with the declination. So when we type this into our calculator, it gives us the answer of negative 83.06. We convert this to a quadrantal using the little table on the right. As our LHA is between 0 and 180, and our azimuth is negative, we name it north 83.06 west, which we then convert to a true bearing. As it's the northwest quadrant, we subtract it from 360, giving us a true bearing of 276.9 degrees. Now we can work out our gyro error. Earlier we said we had taken the bearing of the sun and it was 277 degrees. We calculated that the true bearing of the sun was 276.9 degrees, so we enter these into the appropriate box on our pro forma. When we subtract the gyro bearing from the true bearing, we get negative 0.1 degrees. In the UK, we refer to the gyro error as being high or low. In this case, negative is considered to be high so we can say that the gyro error is 0 decimal 1 degrees high. In some countries this would be referred to as 0 decimal 1 degrees west. Now we can work out our magnetic compass error and deviation. Remember we noted the ship's gyro and magnetic compass heading at the time of taking the gyro error. Now we work out the ship's true heading. So we take the ship's gyro heading and add or subtract the gyro error. In this case negative 0.1 which gives us a true heading of 131.9 degrees. Now we know the magnetic heading was 145.5 degrees, so we can subtract this from our true heading, which gives us an error of negative 13.6. As it's negative, we consider it as being 13.6 west. The variation we obtain from the nautical chart, or the ectus for the ship's current position, which in this case is 13.7 west. As it's west, we consider it as a negative value. So we can do negative 13.6 minus negative 13.7, which gives us 0 decimal 1 degrees. As it's positive, we say it's east. So the magnetic compass deviation on our current heading is 0 decimal 1 degrees east. Thanks for watching. If you found this video useful, please click that like button. Make sure you hit subscribe to get notified when I post my next video, how to calculate the compass error from a star.